G'day everyone, welcome back to another block cutting tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to go through a roof that has uh, a lot of hips and valleys, uh, which is going to be a, mean a lot of off cuts, um, but we're still going to be able to get the waste factor of this roof down pretty low. Um, so to start off, we'll go to estimate and then block cutting, and we want to just reset our block number and letter back to the start, so A and then 1, and then we'll, we'll pick uh, green to start off with. Uh, so, as I said in the previous episode, whenever you are splitting a roof, um, try and split as much as you can to start with. Um, that way you, you know how things are going to fit together and if there are complex parts, you're not quite sure how, we're gonna, how they're going to fit together yet. But try and get as much split as you can. And on this example, we're going to start with uh, our highest ridge as we do with all block cuts. So we're going to split at the highest ridge, continuing down all the way to the eave. And then on the other side, we're going to split down the ridge and we want to continue this down to the eave. So the eave ends up down here. Uh, so we're going to split this plane as well. And then this one, then you can see this split does end up down all the way to the eave. And you, the reason we don't, we're not splitting these ones in between is because these are actually on a different, they're not, they're not coplanular, so they're going to be raking a different way. The pitch is going up from a, a different direction. So now that we've done our, our main ridge, we can then go to all the secondary ridges, which is pretty much any, any ridge that is not part of the main sort of four hip roof, if you can picture uh, this being a four hip roof. So we'll start off with the, the nice easy ones, which are going to be all these simple ones that you can sort of look at being their own blocks. Um, because they're not part of this this main four hip roof That'll split there that'll split there and you can basically bet that any Any ridge that you see that's not part of this main four hip roof Which is on the the highest ridge uh, You can make a good bet that it is most likely to be its own block so you can split it at that at that ridge So now that we've done that we're gonna go through and, and use a new a new cutting method which is split plane at a distance this one here and if you read the instructions up up here it's going to ask you to select a plane first so we're going to select this one for example and it says split a point to move what that means is you want to select a point that is going to be almost like a starting point as a as a distance to measure which for us is going to be at the bottom of this hip here that point there then it's going to, once you've selected that point, it'll flash and then ask, where do you want to move that point to? And in this case, for us, we want to then select the end of that secondary ridge, that one there, and it's going to make a split for us. And then the key part is next where it says, all right, do you want to split this repetitively? And in our case, now using this method of splitting, splitting it at a distance, you may not always want to split, but in this case we do. Um, because it's going to become part of this block here. So we'll hit yes and you can see it's it's split that over and over. In this case it only had to split one more time and you have to select the point in the direction that it's going to be splitting. So you can imagine if we start here and we head upwards there's sort of no plane once we get past this point here whereas if we go downwards uh, because the plane continues down uh, in, in the y-axis um, we can then continue to split repetitively. So once that's that's flashing, once we've selected that point, we then select that end of the ridge there, making sure we get the right point. So we hit yes there. It split that for us and say says, do you want to split it again and again and again? And we hit yes. And you can see it split that perfectly at the distance, uh, at the length of that, that ridge there. Um, you could also, also go up from this side. So start from the bottom and split the, the length of this fascia gutter here, um, but just for the sake of keeping it neat, you could split it at the, the ridge here. So something else to note is sometimes you don't split it quite perfectly. Sometimes there's a point that it's been split at that hasn't quite worked out. Maybe you've selected the wrong point or maybe the, the hip is really short and it's just selected the wrong area. That's fine. So here you can see it's, it's not perfectly at the, at the end of that ridge like we wanted it to. So what we would do to fix that is hit merge planes we're going to merge that plane and that plane together it's now one plane again and we go to split plane at a point select the plane first off so whenever you're splitting any any planes at all you want to make sure you select it first 
and then just middle mouse button and there you go that's done that properly so once we've done all that that's looking pretty good now this one is a little bit more complex because we've got sort of two two ridges in a row and seeing as they're on the same side that's going to add a little bit of complexity but that's fine so let's get the the main four hipper out of the way first and then we can see what we've got le left over and that'll give us clues on on sort of how to continue on after that so we're going to define our block remember we're going to hit f1 which is going to show us where we've already split planes i'll select this one here and just paste that in there and then we just start to assign our plane so remembering f1 and f2 rotates the plane so that we can flip it into the block and f3 and f4 is going to change what corner of the block that we're currently attached to so if we hit F3 and F4 to rotate this around. We can then select the right point to snap in there. We're gonna picture our four hip roof and fling that around. Do the same on here. And a lot of roofers will sort of do this on in their heads. So if you've been on a roof, you've probably got some idea of, of this already. But we're just gonna continue around, making sure we get each one in the right spot. Now, let's say you've put the plane in the wrong spot. Like, let's say we click it there. Oh, that's not the right spot. That's all right. We just go back to our main menu, hit move group, and you can select both the annotation and the plane, right click. And it's like any other group move function in the software, but we hit yes, that's what we want to move. And we want an initial point, which I'll select to be there. And then a final point, which will be in there. And you can see that's tucked in nicely. So we'll extend the edge so that our plane, our panels cover the entire length of, of all the planes. And we just repeat that process for the other block. All right, and there's our, our B block done. So we've done A and B, and A and B make up our, our sort of simple four hip roof, if, if you can imagine that. So if we got rid of all of our secondary ridges, there would be nothing left but a, a simple four hip roof. So that's always the goal when doing a block cut is you want to simplify in your head down to a four hip roof, and then all the other ridges and, and planes will end up being, being their own block, essentially. So... Now that we've done that main four hip, we can go on to the, the next set of ridges, hit next on our, our block letter, reset our block number back to one, go to our next color, define a block, which will be this one here. We'll assign it to be over there, and then we just assign the planes in. So you can see our secondary ridge is its own block worth of planes like that. So there's a secondary ridge, it ended up being its own block, a block of C planes, and then here we'll do D, E, F, and then this one will be G. All right, so there are our sort of easy ones out of the way. We've just rinsed and repeated the process of defining a block uh, and then having the planes on the, the secondary ridges to be in that own block. And now we get to this part. Now, the difference with this plane here is we've got two secondary ridges within the same plane. Now, this lower one, which will end up being our G block, that's gonna be as per normal, so it'll be put in using the same method as the E block. But with this one, uh, which will be our F block, we're gonna have to split at a distance that we've actually measured. So if we go in to measure two points in our block cutting menu, and we're gonna measure between here and here, 2190, perfect. So that's the distance of that there. And then we're gonna have to add it 
to this distance here, which is 120. So if we then split plane distance, selecting this top line here, because that's the one we want to split. And we go up to 190 plus 120. Uh, and what we're doing here is inputting an actual distance instead of selecting that second point. So if we were to um, select that second point, it's essentially still inputting a distance, but instead of telling it exactly uh, this, the distance, it's just using that distance based off the length of the ridge or, or the distance between those two points that you would select anyway. So we're happy with that. We're going to hit enter and you can see now it's put our, our split in. Do we want to split it repetitively? Whether we say yes or no, it doesn't matter. So we hit no um, because it, the plane doesn't exist at that 2190 plus the 120 further. So we can then define block, hit F1 to select our block based on the cut planes. We'll put that in there. Go over to our, our next block letter, reset our block number and select a new color. And we're gonna just start assigning planes in there to start off that one. Um, and then from here, we can start down there. Put the next one in there and that one in there and we'll do our extend edge as well and then we're just onto the home stretch doing the G block to find that there and we're gonna assign to here and basically rinse and repeat the method that we've used on all the other secondary ridges like that and extend edge just once more and finally you can then sort of do a bit of housekeeping so we'll move our text uh, up for our block annotations that one there move that above just to make it a little more legible that one up as well and this one up too and then we'll just up our plot scale just a little bit, just to make all the annotations a little larger. And then we can place our, our legend or your key uh, in there as well. Then finally, don't forget to tally blocks. And as you can see, our waste there was 3.68%, which is on, this, on a job like this, pretty much nothing. Um, if you had to do a, a gen panels uh, where all the panels are set, laid side by side, and all the hip and valley cuts are just thrown in the bin. It could be anywhere from 15 to 20% waste, um, depending on the job and depending on the panel. So anything less than 10 being our goal, 3.68 is a great, a great, uh, great result. So um, I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to get in touch. Uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out. And I'll do some more videos in the future of another complex roof. So we'll see you in that one.